This episode is brought to you by Domain.com. Do you ever have that nightmare where someone cuts off your thumb, uses it to get into your phone, and then has access to your Clash of Clan gems? While Qualcomm feels your pain. Let's take a look at Qualcomm Sense ID Ultrasonic Fingerprint Scanner and see how this technology works and what sort of advantages it has to offer over current fingerprint scanning technologies on the market. To actually capture the details of a fingerprint, the hardware consists of both a transmitter and a receiver. An ultrasonic pulse is transmitted against the finger that is placed over the scanner. Some of this pulse is absorbed and some of it is bounced back to the sensor, depending on the ridges, pores, and other details that are unique to each fingerprint. There isn't a microphone listening for returning signals. Instead, there's a sensor that can detect mechanical stress that is used to calculate the intensity of returning ultrasonic pulses at different points on the scanner. Scanning for longer periods of time allows for additional depth data to be captured, resulting in a highly detailed 3D reproduction of the scanned fingerprint. Now this is considerably different to even the best capacitative fingerprint scanners on the market at the moment, which are only able to reproduce 2D images. 3D details are much more difficult to forge or fool than 2D versions of the technology, potentially making the ultrasonic system much more secure. Another added perk of this technology is that it allows the fingerprint scanner to still operate through thin materials, such as a smartphone case built from glass, aluminum, or plastic. Therefore, the scanner can be embedded under the case, allowing for a more discreet look. Now, when it comes to security, Qualcomm Secure MSM architecture in its Snapdragon processor provides additional protection via a separate execution environment that is kept away from the rest of the high-level operating system. Secure MSM is traditionally used to handle cryptographic and other sensitive bits of data. This way, important user security information is kept secure on its own piece of hardware and in a separate software bubble away from potential malicious bits of code. Qualcomm Sense ID also supports FIDO, or Fast Identity Online Alliance Protocols, which can be used for online passwordless authentication without transferring any of the confidential fingerprint information to the cloud or through networks that can be compromised. Now to unpack that for you, that just means you'd be able to log into certain apps or websites by simply using your fingerprint scanner and not having to type in your password with your two little thumbs. Pretty cool. This is very geeky, but very exciting. It allows us to make our devices much more secure. I hope Qualcomm can market this in an effective way. Just say that it's way more secure than first generation fingerprint scanners instead of going into all the techie details. What do you guys think? Would that be a distinguishing feature for you to buy a phone if it had, you know, Qualcomm Sense ID? Would be for me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So do you guys remember from like 15 years ago when people were making money hands over fist in the dot-com bubble? Remember we didn't call it a dot-net bubble or dot-org bubble? We didn't call them dot-biz billionaires. We called them dot-com billionaires because that's the power of a .com. Now why is that? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. Save 15% on domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Thanks for watching Edward Army. My name is Jace. Just a quick reminder that yes, I still am taking, uh, you know, Thanks for watching Edward Army. My name is Jace. I'm still sick, I know, uh, forgive the voice, but I wanted to say that I still am taking uh, domain name suggestions via Twitter or in the comments below. Twitter's usually best because I, I follow that all the time. Uh, and I will announce that at the next domain.com show. All right, good stuff. Don't want to forget about my brothers and sister in Android who are working super hard to be your source for all things Android.